Well, Charity Woodrum was only a few feet away from her husband, Jason Thomas, and her three-year-old son, Woody, when a sneaker wave swept them away in the Cape Blanco area back in January. Two months later, her heart is still naturally broken, but now she's looking to the heavens for solace. Charity Woodrum grew up in Canyonville, dreaming about math, science, and space never realizing the vast unknown was in reach. I had never met anyone who had done it for a job, so I didn't really think it was like a career that I could um, do, you know. With a background in nursing and a push from her husband, Jason, Charity explored her horizons, chasing a spot in the field of astrophysics at the University of Oregon. But her universe expanded as she made way for the tiny meteor that entered her life. His name was Woody. As a baby, he was a, a really happy baby. Everyone would say that about him. As a toddler, he was very curious, um, all just constantly asking questions. The trio set off on outdoor excursions, camping out under the stars as mom volunteered at the Pine Mountain Observatory. He knew that I was working with the stars. He didn't really understand it. He actually thought I was the person who turned the stars on at night. So that's what he thought I did. Charity's spirit for the celestial, earning her an internship with NASA, getting to speak with those she admired while hoping to be a source of inspiration to Woody. I wanted to make him proud of me, and, um, and um, I just wanted him to see me follow my passions. Woody wanting to follow her lead as a superhero slash astronaut slash doctor. Charity taking every chance to share her love for all things space. But with her eyes towards the sky, Jason kept her grounded here on Earth. He would probably say biology is cooler than physics, so we would pretend to fight over that. He hoped to one day support her dream working with telescopes while running a coffee shop cleverly called Dark Energy. He was just really giving and supportive, and um, he made everyone around him you know, feel better and the best human I've ever met and the best dad, too. Together, they embraced the love of science. Woody was very proud that day of us. He would tell everyone about his fast rocket ship dad and the biggest planet mom. And their love of nature. It was just a sunny, normal day on the coast. Until that tragic day. There was lots of people on the beach that day and, and nobody else was was thought anything bad would happen. Jason, holding Woody in his carrier, was suddenly struck by a wave. It was just a complete surprise. Her family disappeared right before her eyes. Jason found weeks later, Woody still missing. As she struggles to make sense of her world, the comfort of family and friends keeps her moving, sharing memories of who they were and the mark that they left on her. The stars not providing the answers she needs, but giving her a sense of hope. Charity looking to return to her field and finish what she started in their name. While it is painful, um, I think it's also the best way to honor them because, um, like I said, they were proud of me for it, and um, I know that's what they would want me to do. And with every gaze into the sky, Charity sending one message to her little meteor and her fastest rocket. But I, I love them and I wish they were still here. <laughs> a GoFundMe page was started in Charity's name with a goal of $25,000. To help her reach her goal, visit KEZI.com. Live in the studio, Oscar Maciel, KEZI 9 News.